all right guys this is how the throttle to pass converter works okay so essentially this black box is the throttle to pass converter it always comes with a push button a throttle push button like this and it's got the uh, pass connectors here okay one side is the controller one side is to the pass sensor right and the throttle button that's it right so you got essentially three to four connectors this one is the forward reverse bias um, a switch so if you disconnect it then it becomes a reverse uh, pass and then if you connect it, it becomes a forward pass okay so most controllers they are forward pass but some controllers are reverse pass uh, signal so you can uh, you know switch it around right so the first step to do is uh, for most controllers they may not have this throttle connection right here you can see our ZL controller here does but a lot of the stock controllers do not so what you need to do is just disconnect the uh, pass sensor uh, from the controller disconnect the pass sensor from the controller take uh, this connectors you cannot get it wrong because it's essentially male to female right male to female male to female on each end and then so you got this all right so you got the pass signal connected you got the throttle button connected and then turn it on okay so it should work now essentially you don't need this throttle anymore so you could you know use the pass sensor right this pedal assist should work or you know you could use your throttle button and it should work the same way too okay there you go All right so you are using the pass for this and the throttle button for this okay so if your controller happens to be a reverse signal just simply unplug this switch here and then uh, for this forward signal forward pass signal it wouldn't be able to work but for a uh, another controller that is reverse pass it should work once you disconnect the uh, switch here this white color uh, switch wire okay so that's it this converter is now ready to be shipped out to our customer over in Australia.